Hi everyone, I'm Steven. I'm one of the artists at Disney's Art of Animation Resort in Florida. Seven days a week, you can find me or another Walt Disney World artist in the Art of Animation Resort lobby, teaching guests how to draw their favorite Disney characters. Today's How to Draw video class is on the road at Magic Kingdom Park in Town Square Theater. This is where guests can meet Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as part of Mickey and Minnie's surprise celebration. That's 90 years of Mickey Mouse magic. This is the second of three videos where I'll teach you how to draw Mickey Mouse throughout the years. Today, we're going to sketch Mickey in more of a contemporary style. First, we're going to start off by drawing a circle. We're going to keep the circle very light and rough at first. It's about the size of a big orange. Once you have your circle done, we're going to add what we call axis lines or guidelines. The first one is going to go at a large curve up and down on the more right hand side of our construction shape. Then draw a horizontal guideline, which will be just beneath the halfway mark of our circle, Mickey's head is turned just slightly, so these lines will help give him a certain direction to look at. With the construction shape complete, we're going to start drawing his snout and his nose. Start off at the center point of our guidelines. We're going to curve up just a little bit and curve right on down and right back into our construction shape. As you may have noticed, I switched pencils to help separate the defining line work from the construction shape. With the snout complete, let's sketch out an oval for his nose. Moving down to his mouth, from the end of the snout we're going to curve on down, come out of our construction shape just a little bit as we curve back on over to his snout. It almost makes like a really curvy and crooked letter L. Inside the mouth, sketch out two overlapping curves for his tongue. Next, let's draw a sideways letter J for his jawline. To start the outline of his face, let's start off by putting a reference dot right in the middle of the forehead area. Follow that by drawing a really curvy letter E. And there's the lower half of the E. Then to finish up the outline of his face, at the top of that letter E, just draw a little curved line that goes on up to the edge of our construction shape. Oh look! It's Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. Thanks for letting me use this spot at Town Square Theater. What do you guys think? Oh, thanks, I do my best. Oh, don't worry, I'll be out before the guests arrive. Now where were we? Oh yeah, now this part's real easy. We're going to trace over the edge of our construction shape to form the top half of Mickey's head. Now with the head shape complete, let's work on Mickey's eyes. Start off with the left eye by drawing a really skinny egg shape. We're going to place the left eye just to the left of our vertical guideline and right on top of our horizontal guideline. For the right eye, let's just sketch out an upside down and curvy letter U. Then to finish up the eyes, don't forget the pupils or the dark parts of the eyes. Don't worry, we'll go back and shade these in a little bit later. To finish up Mickey's face, we're going to draw in the end of the mouth by drawing a curved line at the end of the snout. I didn't forget, let's draw the ears. Because Mickey's head is turned a little bit, we're not going to put the ear directly behind the horizontal guideline. We're going to put it just above it. Big letter C is about half of the overall head shape size. For the other ear, we're not going to put it directly above the head. We're going to put it just off to the left. With all the line work done, let's start shading in our character. Start shading in the ears we had just sketched out. Next, let's start shading in the actual head shape. We're going to shade it the same darkness as we did the ears. Let me even up the ears a little bit, just so everything matches. Follow that with the dark parts of the eyes, and then the nose. Then we can also shade in the back half of Mickey's mouth. And for the tongue, just very lightly shade that in. As with every sketch, don't forget to sign your work. And there he is, Mickey Mouse, drawn in a contemporary style. Keep watching the Dizzy Parks blog for more drawing lessons. And soon, I'll teach you how to draw Mickey Mouse in the style you see on the new Dizzy's Hollywood Studios 30th Anniversary logo. Until then, sketch you later.